it's Michelle and today I'm going to show you how to make a mushroom bead charm I thought this was the cutest thing and I accidentally came across these beads that gave me the idea when I was looking for another type of bead cap for a project that I'm going to be doing next month but I came across these wooden bead caps and I just loved them I can get that open I'll show you one of those up close and it even concaves under the bottom like a mushroom cap would do and so when I saw these online that was what I thought of was a mushroom so then I began the search for a mushroom stem I originally had first ordered just the bead caps and as you can see I got the light wood color and the darker wood color and I just ordered those and I thought I could find something for a stem in what I had in my stash but nothing really worked out right so I went back online in search of a mushroom stem and this is what I came up with I was lucky to find exactly what I needed even in the wooden beads also so that worked out perfect and these are teardrop beads in a 12 by 6 millimeter size and that worked out perfectly because some of the ones that I had that I was trying were teardrop beads like this but they weren't quite as narrow when I found one this long in the 12 millimeter size they were quite a bit wider um, most of them 8 millimeters wide some of them even 10 with the 12 millimeter height and that really was just too wide to give it the look that I wanted so these narrow ones in the 12 by 6 really do work out the best and I will give you the links to where I got all of these in the description so you all be able to get those if you want to do some mushrooms of your own and first I'm going to show you a couple that I already made before we get started on the one that we're doing today and this one as you can see I used the light wood of course the light was all I had in the teardrop beads so I paired that with the darker mushroom cap and I thought that looked really cute a lot like a natural mushroom I thought so then I decided to make one with the light bead caps so what I did on that was I painted the teardrop bead white so that I think too looks like a natural mushroom I thought that was really cute but the one we're going to be doing today is a little more whimsical than that and I'll show you what I did we're going to be using one of the teardrop beads that I painted white as our stem and I just used a regular paint pen that I got at Walmart to paint that I just kind of held the bead on the end of a skewer stick and painted it with that paint pen and then stood it up in a little glass and let it dry and then I really really wanted to go whimsical you all know that I can never leave well enough alone so I decided to paint the top to look kind of like a cartoony fairyland style of mushroom and when I did that I put one of those light wood colored bead caps as you can see I left the underneath unpainted because I thought that looked a little more like a natural mushroom too and I put that on the end of a skewer stick and the first thing I did was I tried painting that with the red paint pen from Walmart just like the one I had used in white but I wasn't real happy with the color it was kind of an orangey red and I wanted something a little darker so I just came back and I went over it with a coat of fingernail polish 
and that was that darker red that I really loved. It gave me the color I wanted. And uh, what I used was the Essie brand and the color for every yummy. If you all want to try to find that, if you want to use the same color that I did. And then after I got that painted, I let it dry with that coat of red on it. And then I came back with my white paint pen. And I didn't do this straight onto the bead cap. What I did was I push the tip of that onto a little notepad and got a puddle of my white paint and then I came in with some fingernail dotting tools of a couple of different sizes and I just dipped that in and then dotted on um, in a couple of different sizes some of the white spots I tried to to do it a little bit randomly on there and uh, a lot of times I have difficulty doing random it comes out looking kind of like a grid but I think I did pretty good on that it's pretty random with the spots I think it looks cute so then I'll let that dry again with each coat of paint that I put on these I usually let that dry for 24 hours before I came back and messed with it again so it did take a little time but once you get in mind what it is that you're wanting to do then it goes pretty easy and then now that we have our two beads ready we're ready to make our mushroom so when I started to do that and put my mushroom together I came across another problem and I'll show you what that is and this is a problem that I think I finally found the solution to and I have come upon this problem so many times in the past and that is with wooden beads and a lot of times the acrylic beads the hole is just too large for my head pin and it just goes right through and in some situations I can accommodate that with some other beads hidden here and there and I just couldn't come up with anything here because I needed something underneath the bottom of that to keep it from coming through and it changed the look of my mushroom when I did that so this has been in the works for quite a while I had to go back online again and place another order but I finally figured out the perfect solution to that online I found some silver sequins and they're just the plain flat sequins they're not cupped with any of the you know like faceted looking angles or anything like that they're just flat plain silver sequins and they're in a tiny three millimeter size which is perfect so you're not really going to notice that it's just going to essentially make a little bit larger of a head on our head pin there to keep that larger whole bead from coming through so finally after many online orders and many overnight dry times with the paint coats on there we are ready to make our fairy mushroom bead charm so we just get our three millimeter sequin on there and as you can see it's not going to show up a lot it's just going to give us a little bit bigger of a head to our pen and I love this solution I've already got a lot of ideas for it with large hole beads that have hindered me in the past so I was tickled to death to find this solution so now we can just put on our mushroom stem and our mushroom cap and there's our fairyland mushroom I love that it took a lot of time and a lot of online orders to finally find what I wanted but I am tickled to death with this and this is probably my current favorite right now and to save you all the time and searching that 
that I had to do. I will go ahead and give you all of those links to everything that I was able to find to the uh, 12 by 6 millimeter teardrop beads, the wooden bead cap beads, and I think they were 8 millimeters tall by 10 millimeters wide. And I will also give you the link to those 3 millimeter sequins. And those will come in handy for so many other projects. Okay, so just hold everything firmly together and bend your head pin as we always do. And then we're going to cut that down to about a quarter of an inch. And then roll that into a loop. And then we'll get our scrap piece to make our jump ring. Just roll it around. See how many you can get out of that. And we're going to get two, so we'll have one for our mushroom today. And one jump ring for our stash. And we'll just open that up. Dangle on our little mushroom and our lobster clasp. And close it back up. and there is your fairyland mushroom and another cute thing about these that I liked was the way they ended up a little bit crooked kind of looks like the way a mushroom would grow naturally they do go a little bit crooked and what I found myself doing was if I was able to make that without it bending and it came out straight, I ended up coming back and putting a little crook in them anyway. I thought that made it look really cute. So there is your Fairyland Mushroom or Natural Mushroom bead charm either way that you want to do it it's up to you I like to get creative I enjoyed doing the mushrooms with the beads as they were but I always like to change it up make it my own personalize it and come up with something that I know that is not going to be just like everything on the shelf so you all get creative and let me know what you come up with I would love to see your charms you all let me know what you think about mine in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Give me a like over on my Facebook page. And follow me on Pinterest. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.